It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in, the, in thine ears, and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. So people here forbear. Got the brother Kabad. Shalom. I'm the brother Hawaii. Lord, one of this lessons edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord gave us a job, gave us a duty to do. And the job and the duty of a prophet is to prophesy. And to tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. That's our job, all right? Our job isn't to give out um, sandwiches, you know what right. I'm saying? Pass out plates, give turkeys out on Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying, bro? And all this other crap, you know what I'm saying, that these pastors and these churches be doing just to, just to um, get money and receive a large mm -hmm. following. No. The Lord is only looking for that small remnant to right. follow him. My sheep hear my voice. So we're prophesying of war. We're prophesying of evil, a.k.a. bad times, pestilence, mm -hmm. more diseases. We're prophesying of earthquakes. Everything that's happening right about now, before it even happened, the Lord has his prophets go forth. And, and look, and tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. So, so there's no excuses. Before going right back to Amos um, 9 and 8, the Lord said his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, and he would, aka America, and he would destroy it from off the face of the earth. So before it even happened, his men out there on the highways and byways, there would be no excuses in the day of death and destruction for you Israelites, man. Uh -huh. None at all. You can get that again, bro, and feel, feel free to chime in. It's Jeremiah 28 and 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears. And the ears of all the people. Right. What word is that talking about? The words of the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, this word has went forth throughout the four corners of the earth. Wherever the Israelites are at, man, they, they receiving this word right about now. Or either they're ignoring it. Mm -hmm. But you ain't going to be able to say you didn't hear this word. You're, gonna be able to say, you're not going to be able to say you didn't see a still frame of men preaching the Bible. I didn't hear it. Well, you seen a still frame. Mm -hmm. You seen a video being posted. You didn't take heed to it. So that's going to be on you. Our job is to speak it to the ears of the Israelites. You got it, bro. Yep. You got something? You want to uh, say something? No, no, no. So the prophets, verse 8, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The right. prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. See, we're supposed to prophesy against many countries. Yep. Not come out and say, um, God bless America. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's going to get better here. No, we're prophesying against many countries, man. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yep. It reads on. Against great kingdoms and against great kingdoms. This is what all the prophets have did Since the beginning of time the prophets always prophesied against countries great countries man and many kingdoms man Go ahead of war of war the prophets always prophesied of war Danger pen and destruction man hell uh -huh. Which is a condition played out on earth go ahead and of evil and of evil meaning bad times nothing lovely this is this is not the good book as you say it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this right here, it, it didn't sound all lovely. It says men prophesied against things, uh -huh. evils, wars, bad times, death, destruction, chaos, calamities. But but your pastor in the church said, oh yeah, that's the good book. Right. All right. Good for who though? It don't sound like it's good for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Only good for some. And those are the Israelites that are obeying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and that's fearing. Because remember the scripture says, shall I go well with those that fear the Lord? Mm -hmm. You see? Go ahead. It reads on, and a, a pestilence. Right. So this, so that's our job. And before these spring, things spring forth, we tell you, you want to get Isaiah right quick, 42 and 9? Yep. Or whatever you was getting ready to get, and then after that you can get Isaiah 42 and 9. Okay. Whatever you was going to get first. All right. This is um, Habakkuk chapter 2. It says, I will stand up on my watch and set up, set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he shall say unto me. Right. And what I, and what I shall answer when I am approved. Mm -hmm. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Right. That he may run that read of it. And we're making it plain upon tables, man. Mm -hmm. We're breaking it down simple and plain. Making it plain that even a baby can get it, you know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yep. Verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What's the vision of prophecies? Go ahead. 
But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. And it's speaking loud and clear. It ain't lying. Because these words are faithful and true. It ain't lying. Faithful and true, man. So this, look, the scripture's basically jumping off the pages. Sometimes before we even, even can read a scripture, it's, it's already happening. You know what I'm saying, yep. bro? And we're like, wow. We could be at camp prophesying. When we get home, everything that we prophesied of came to pass. Mm -hmm. So it was happening as we was prophesying of. You know what I'm saying, bro? It was actually coming to pass as we was speaking it, man. Mm -hmm. Look, to say before. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep. It reads on Habakkuk 2 and 3. Wait for it, Sakia. It says, for the vision is yet from the point of time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm -hmm. Though it tarry, wait for it, for it, for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. So though our people hear this word and they say the Lord is going to prolong his words <laughs> another thousand years, another 500 years. Look, man, the vision is speaking loud and clear. You got war everywhere. You got evils everywhere. You got pestilence everywhere. You got chaos mm -hmm. everywhere. You got famines everywhere. The love of many has waxed cold yep. everywhere. It's a doggy dog world. The economy is on the, on the verge of crashing. Mm -hmm. You know. The digital system is being established right in front of our eyes. Mm -hmm. So what the hell is Jake talking about? The Bible is not faithful and true. These words are speaking loud, man. Yep. The vision is actually speaking there, man. You want to say something? No. Nah, Go this ahead. Isaiah 42 and... Um, Go to this point nine. Okay. Yep. It says, Behold, the foreign things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Yeah, well, I mean, you had different um, examples of war and chaos and calamities and things of that nature. But we're prophesying, according to the Bible, that it's, it's getting ready to get worse than anything you ever heard of, anything that you've never seen on a movie. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you can even dream of, it's going gonna, it's gonna to outweigh that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Them brothers that had some, um, some terrible dreams. Mm -hmm. you, you read about the prophets, they didn't have some terrible dreams, bro, to where they woke up sick. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Throwing up, woke up very afraid. But but even their dreams are not going to be able to compare to what's actually coming down the pipeline. Because see, actually seeing it and going through it, man, it's, it's a whole nother um, pretty much topic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's a whole nother world actually going through it. And, and them dreams, you know what I'm saying? Men woke up shaking. Scared to death. That's why Ezra says, Woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days, man? Because it's right. going to get that bad out here, man. But Jake playing around with Yahweh by Shemel Shah, mm -hmm. which really they're playing around with themselves because you ain't playing around with the Lord. Yep. Your hand's too short to box, you know what I mean? Yep. But before these things spring forth, we tell you of it, man. And new things do we declare. Mm -hmm. This um, digital system mm -hmm. where they're going to make it mandatory, you know what I'm saying? That everybody take that grain of rice. Yep. And if the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not on you, you're going to take it. That's why we always say, Lord's will, we do this, that, and the third. You know right. what I'm saying? Because nothing is of us. That's right. Because you can say, I ain't going to do this, I ain't going to do that. And that's thing you know, five minutes mm -hmm. later, you didn't do the shit. Mm -hmm. You're like, yo, Salak, your Lord. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we got to constantly pray that the Lord keeps it, keeps that spirit on us. Humble. Yeah. What is that? Psalms 51? Um, that the Lord, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keeps that spirit on us to remain humble. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Just... Keep their spirits on us to do what is right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Keep walking on that path of righteousness, that straight gate. Even though it's a path of, path of difficulty, that's the only way out of here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. Yeah, the scripture says he spake, right? I'm all stocky. It says, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. He tells you through his prophets. Right. Right. In these last days, you got to figure out who the true prophets, the true servants, the true men of the Lord are, man. Mm -hmm. You don't have all day. Right. Uh, this is Luke 1 and 7. Yeah, going right back to, um, just land back on yep. what you said, going right back to um, Malachi the third chapter. Mm -hmm. Down at the bottom, I'm thinking verse 18. It says the Lord is going to give us a spirit to discern who's, who's um, following the Lord pretty much yep. or who ain't, you know? Get yep. that right quick, yeah, bro, for your mind. I was going to it. Yeah. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the spirit right before we get to camp. Just want to keep throwing that energy out there, you know what I'm saying? Just keep prophesying. Yep. The Lord said prophesy, you know what I'm saying? Why is the day? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Yep, this is Malachi 3 and 18. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yahweh and him that serveth him not. And like Kabbalah said, you ain't got all day. Your, your spiritual antenna should be up right, right about now. You know what I'm saying? Right. You should be like, oh, yeah, the Bible said this. They said that. Mm -hmm. But they said this. Oh, so I'm going to go with the people that actually spoke according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's discernment right there. You know what I'm saying? Righteous judgment. You know what I'm saying? Acts 5 and 29. Yeah. So it's like, pray for it. If you don't got it, pray for it. Mm -hmm. 
If any man lack anything, let him ask of the Lord to give it to all men freely, liberally, you know what I'm saying? Um, and upbraid of not, and it'll be given to him. Yeah. You just sit there, you ain't even praying, you know what I'm saying, or nothing. Right. You just following somebody right off the cliff. Right. Ain't praying to the Lord or nothing, man. It's going, it's going down, man. What he say? He must get him back. Right. He must get him back. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Sounding real funny right there, bro. Them voices, right, bro? You know what I'm saying? He is not a man. <laughs> right. See, learn who to follow. Right. Better pray to the Lord. The Lord said, then you're going to return. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to discern who's teaching the truth and who's not, and who's following me and who's not. Mm -hmm. And, look, and bro, and if they speak not according to this word, then yeah. you know not to follow them because there's no light in them, man. That's right. You got it. Yep, this is Luke 1 and 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Now, holy means separate, to be set apart. Mm -hmm. All right? You got to find out what, what, what men are really truly being set apart from this world. Right. A man will make a statement saying you, to go commit adultery. Right. To go get some witchcraft, go get some drugs. That man is not holy. Right. That man is not set, set apart. Right. He's pretty much um, being just like the world. Exactly. That's why That's why it says um, they speak of the world, therefore the world heareth them. Yep. These false prophets, they speak of worldly things. Therefore the world heareth them. Even Israelites, they know they Israelites. They're still part of the world if you're following those um, false doctrines. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're following a person that's um, pretty much promoting transgression, promoting sin, promoting wickedness. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Yep, Luke 1 and 70, which have been since the world began. Right, the prophets always been around. The prophets of the Lord always been around. Mm -hmm. What um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19 got to say, bro? Yep, this is the book of 1 Thessalonians. Probably going to bring out like two more and then we'll wrap it yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, that's the one, that's the one quenching the spirit, quenching not the spirit. Oh, yeah. But 1 Thessalonians 5 and 20, despise not prophesy. Uh, um, start at 19. 19? Yeah. Yep. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19, quench not the spirit. Right, quench not the spirit. And when it's mm -hmm. time to go, go. Strike while the iron is hot. And the Lord got this his spirit on you to prophesy, prophesy. Don't quench the spirit. Don't calm the spirit down. No, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that. I don't think that's for me. No, don't quench the spirit. Right. When the spirit is on fire, strike. You know what I'm saying? Like Jeremiah mm -hmm. said, he wanted to quench the spirit, but it was a fire that was inside mm -hmm. him that was burning. So he couldn't do nothing but prophesy, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I, I, that's happened to me personally. You know, I... I, I like quench the spirit and you know you feel all stupid right you know what i'm saying like right. it was just a five minute you know uh a lesson you could have put put together right the spirit was on you right and you just nah. yeah I, I, i'll get to it later on right don't I, quench the spirit don't get when, the spirit. when the iron is hot strike that's right strike while the iron is hot that's it on that no it says verse 20 despise not prophesy despise don't hate the prophesy don't hate it when it comes to going out here telling people what's going to happen before it even happened you know what I'm saying? Right. Don't hate that. That's our job. Oh, man, That's what we're set up to do. Exactly. No, you got it. Yeah, oh, man, I told him yesterday. Right. Man. Tell him again. Right. <laughs> Tell him again. I know they're tired of me bringing out of that scripture, but it's the Lord tired. Mm -hmm. It's the Lord tired. Remember, the Lord always repeated himself. Yep. You know? So if you keep bringing, as long as you're edifying, mm -hmm. as long as that scripture is edifying, man, don't even worry about it. Just teach, mm -hmm. prophesy. That's our job. Mm -hmm. That was it on that? Yeah. Get um, we'll, we'll end it off on this unless you got some. First Corinthians um, 9 and 16. First Corinthians 9 and 16? Yeah. Hey, this scripture below, it says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Right. Which is, that's truth. Yep. You know? We'll prove all things according to the scriptures, man. That's right. We ain't going to just say something and not be able to prove it according to the Bible. Right. We're going to prove it. If we say something, you can best believe we're going to bring out a scripture to back up our, our sayings. That's right. Because that, that's what actually justifies us. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, bro? Because if you yep. can't pull it out, then that's what condemns you. Mm -hmm. You got it. Like you quoted Isaiah 8 and 20. Yep. There's uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 16. Though I preach the gospel, it's talking about the good news. Mm -hmm. And who's that good news for? It's for the elect on this side, but overall Israel in general, man. Mm -hmm. These so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It's not this place going on. It's not uh, 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 new voting rights. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The good mm -hmm. news is us having dominion. Right. With lawyer Howard shot the helm. It says, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. It says, yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. This is a necessity that we do. Why? Because our lives are on the lines. Right. Man. All right, and those that hear us, going back to Ezekiel three and seventeen, we gotta go out here and warn our people mm -hmm. of what's to come. 
get the blood off our hands. That's right. So that the elect can repent and those that's not meant for repenting, they're going to die anyway, mm -hmm. man. All right? But scripture says, woe, which means destruction, unto us if we don't preach the good news. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are constantly prophesied. That's why we always chanting down this place, man. Through the spirit and power of your heart, by Shema Shah. Because if we don't, man, destruction unto us, man. Right. The Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Look, a little fear is a motivator. Plus, you know what I'm saying? We want that, we want that reward. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Deliverance, man. Being delivered into the kingdom, man. That's what we're fighting for. We ain't just um beating at the air. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We want to be saved and delivered, Lord willing, man. That's why we go out here and do that work. <laughs> I mean, it's our duty, most definitely, to go out here and right. do what we do. But at the same time, like the Apostle Peter said, you know what I'm saying? He want that reward, man. Mm -hmm. He has forsaken all. We have forsaken all. What shall we have? And the Lord already said, those that forsake such, such, such and such going to have, you know what I'm saying, have a hundredfold in the kingdom. That's what we're fighting for, man. But our job as prophets of the Lord, service of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, is to prophesy, let you know what's going to happen before it even happens. If you don't take heed, then that's on you. It's not on us. Mm -hmm. well, you want to close this out, bro? You got to close the statements. You got to close the precept. Yeah. Matthew 19, 28, 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye shall have that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, mm -hmm. when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And then you know that um, there's a such thing as reincarnation. Because mm -hmm. those men died back then. Right. Those apostles, you know what I'm saying? The disciples that was asking Lord Yahweh Shai that question, they died. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, When he come back, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The ones that stood firm, you know what I'm saying, that endured until the end, they're going to sit on thrones, judge, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That ain't happened yet. Mm -hmm. That's fastly approaching, though. And Lord willing, we of, the, of that number, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone. Lord willing, we of that number, man, to endure until the end and receive a glorious crown from Lord Yahweh Shai for standing so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. you know? And everyone, verse 29, they have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters. Right, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose some things following your house by Shemiah Shai. Wives, family members, mm -hmm. jobs, friends of the world. Mm -hmm. You pretty much lose everything, man. Mm -hmm. and, and count it count it all joy at the same time. Yep. You got it. Yep. It says, um, or father or mother or wife. Right. Or children or lands for my name's sake mm -hmm. shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah, whatever you lose on this side, man, you're gonna receive a hundredfold, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing that the blessing is gonna be uncountable. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's like gonna be like the cup gonna really overflow with blessings on top of blessings. Everything you lose on this side, like sons and daughters, man, you're gonna have so many sons and daughters and wives and land and everything, man. When the kingdom of heaven is established on the face of the earth, once this place goes down, man. So, I mean, we, we, we catch it, you know what I'm saying, you know? But we already know what it is. The Lord and gave us a blueprint. We already know what we got to do, man, to receive everlasting life. And it starts off with fearing, and it starts off with prophesying. That's commanded, according to the Bible. There ain't no way around it, you know? Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. You can close out, bro. That's right. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostle Elsa Great Millstone, teaching us his truth according to the Bible and her well. DTA, DTA, Baba Ball, soon and very soon. Shalom.